All right. Um, Nordico MIL BC60 RB UG Trailblazer on track brush cutter operation maintenance manual. Machine worn on procedure. Hydraulic fluid warm on caution. Do not engage with the clutch unless the hydraulic fluid is at least 32 degrees Fahrenheit. Running the hydraulics at the temperature below this level may cause extensive damage to the machine. The machine can be used only after the hydraulic fluid has reached a minimum temperature of 60 degrees Fahrenheit. The track driver, the vacuum readings of the 10 inches of the mercury are higher, not permissible. The secondary cold starts recommended with the track driving suction filter and elements be changed. The vacuum reading the set each 7 inches of the mercury at the hydraulic oil temperature of 100 degrees Fahrenheit. The to avoid high track derived pump vacuum pump vacuum readings in cold, in cold weather, the um, change with the track job, drive pump suction and filter elements more frequently. Travel. It is more important that you read about the understanding that all operations controls cautions warning dangers before of traveling danger to avoid serious injury to death make sure that the area around under the machine is clear of all personal obstructions before traveling and working feel to engage with all lockup devices before propelling and traveling speed can result in injury personnel or extensive damage to the machine propelling track travel the operation before propelling the machine makes certain that all the lockups are in proper position Check the suspension is not locked up for the machines for the operational optional suspension lockouts. Note that the track drive system is strong enough to overpower the brake system for the reason the alternate always neutralize the track drive system slow, below, slowly before applying the brakes. Note all movements of the pump and the motor control levers are carried out and the following instructions must be carried out with slowly and smoothly. Ensure the engine is in full throttle and the hydraulic transmission is warmed up before the engine startup earlier in this section. Engine of four speed mechanical transmission pushing rocker switch in the desired position indicating on the decal. Note the never no, no Never shift the mechanical transmission on the fly. Release the embarking and emergency brake. Adjust the engine speed. Not using the engine speed. Last switch on the control panel to accelerate. Lift up the lock ring with the, on the EDC control the lever to slowly to, um, move the lower, in, lower lever into the desired connection uh, direction until the desired speed is attained. To decelerate, decelerate, lift up the lock on the EDC control lever to slowly move the lever towards the neutral and or neutral position, adjusting the engine speed accordingly. To change the direction, be, um, bring the machine to the complete stop, moving the EDC control to the neutral position. Accelerate in step five. Notice never attempt to change the direction of the machine travel without first being proper bringing, bringing the machine to a complete stop. Braking. Two foot pedals operate to the brakes for the normal braking operation. Either the brake pedal may be depressed to apply the brakes, releasing the brake pedal, releasing the brake. Important. The track drive system is strong enough to overpower the brake system for this reason. The pump or swash plate must be neutralized before the brake under the certain conditions described below. This can be taken carefully automatically using the quick stop mode. Otherwise, the operator must may neutralize the track drive system using the control lever slowly. Quick stop mode for the braking of the system 5 miles an hour. Slow of the quick stop mode for the braking allows the operator to stop the machine while murking at low speeds of 5 miles an hour or lower. Using only the brake pedal when the quick stop mode is activated, application of either the brake pedal automatically neutralizes the pump swash plate and enables the operator to stop the machine more quickly. Use the um, quick stop mode only when working on the second, third gear ears, and then when working with the speed slower than 5 miles an hour. For the speeds greater than 5 miles an hour, the quick stop mode must be deactivated and the track drive system neutralized on the track driving system could be damaged. Parking emergency brake. Your machine is equipped with a full fail safe brake up system. There is a loss of the air pressure. The brakes are spring applied. The parking brake is activated with the valve located on the control valve. The valve exhausts air for the spring chamber, the permitting the spring force to apply with the servant the brakes. To operate the parking brake, push the pull the valve to the apply brakes and push the valve to release the brakes. Um, apply the apply to allow parking brake emergency brake before leaving the cab when stopping the extended periods. Machine setup. There are some adjustments which may have made with the during the varying conditions, such as the rail height and the base width adjustment, must be made to compensate for these conditions before operations can begin. Danger, serious injury, or death that can be result from reaching into the moving components without while, while the machine is running. Blank observation from the safe distance. Warning: Always turn off the machine when performing the maintenance work. Um, maintenance making adjustments or whenever the unintended movement of the machine could occur, unless the directed otherwise failure to comply with the result, personal injury and or damage to the machine. Read understand with all the operation procedures, warnings and cautions before making the adjustment. Caution. Um, cutting head of the rotation blade type of the heads. These are two acceptable configurations of the direction of the rotation of the cur or cut head assemblies. Configuration 1. As shown with the drawing of the right, we'll keep the moving of the debris around with the track area from when cutting the use of the rotation the configuration. You'll need longer houses to switch the hose connection to the outer cutter head of the motor. The left and the right cutter head swap the cutter head disc number 1 on the left cutter head with the disc number 3 with the cutting head. See the quadro, quadro, quadco manual component data section of the manual instruction configuration 2. Also shown the drawing will direct the main more debris away from the machine so it is important that you pay attention to the surrounding when using the configuration. Make certain that you are not around the houses. 
buildings or roads when pop, um, people that may be present know the configuration too is the standard rotation configuration on the machine as it is shipped in, from the factory. Configuration 1 and left cutter, 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 right, right cutter. Um, configuration 2 left left cutter, um, left cutter, cutter forward, right headed cutter, cutter 4 to 3, left headed cutter 2 to 1. Brake adjustment for optimal brake performance clearance between the brake shoe of the wheel should be ranged from three quarter inch to one inch to adjust the relief of the brakes of turning adjusting the nut there in two brake chambers until the proper clearance is attained. Set up an operation. Machine operation danger to avoid serious injury but the death makes sure that all three rear around the under the machine is clear of all the personal obstruction before traveling with working warning failure to engage all lockup devices before propelling at the travel speed can result in the injury to personnel and or damage to the machine. Danger, uh, dangerous operation must be continuously uh, during operations an operation must be continuously on lockout um, lockout for hidden with immovable or uncuttable objects such as the rocker concrete contacts with such hazards may serve the machine damage that would pose safety, a serious safety hazard and strong urge with the operators to get uh, the routine making frequent visual specs during the track for potential objects so that they prepare for the immediate corrective action. It suggests for the minimum of one quarter mile distance maintained between the machine and the people, the houses, cars, etc. while the machine is being operated. Never operate the machine in areas where the people may be hidden view with an ear crossing or in a double track territory. Always keep out of the lockout with approaches in the train sections and crews, etc. The following operation techniques, guidelines, do or do not are provided with within the file of minimize the life of the machine and its components. Do not side the load booms, reduce the travel speed, stop before cutting, dancing, brush, tea, tr brush and trees, easy to objection, allowing cutter heads to do the work. Two, do not attempt to cut trees more than four inches in the diameter. The quick stop of the feature allowed for the quick stop to be made with the working speed of less than five miles an hour. Do not use the creep inch long, while which could damage the track's drive system. This neutralized with the pump layer lever to neutralize before the releasing of the brake pedal. But always operate with the second gear with the third gear when they use the inch, inch, inching control feature. For adjustment to pump, the motor controls must be carried out smoothly and slowly. Leave the motor control at low of the total position, except with when the pump control has been moved in the maximum position. A further speed increase is required to slow down the set motor control pump back to lower position before the adjusting pump control. Six, um, could change the come to a complete stop before changing the machine direction. Come to a complete stop before changing gears. Come to the complete stop before locking and unlocking the suspension. Nine, for two operators, it's best to designate one operator as reasonable for the travel control. Ten, adjust the engine throttle control and slowly rotating control knob. 11. Do not cut in reverse or put any pressure on the rear direction of the uh, on the boom of the cutter head. This will prevent buckling of the bu boom swing cylinders. 12. Angle cut head. The angle cut head down of the forward angle to attack cut toward the front of the machine. Avoid jerking the harsh operations of uh, boom swing cylinders and winches. 14. Set the boom in position. Travel down track. Do not constantly swing booms. 15. Use the winch and raise boom or over relatively short ob ob obstacles only, only. For taller obstacles, reverse the machine and swing the boom into the clearing obstruction. 16. Do not position the booms more than two feet above the storage of the cradle, but move with the storage position. Return with the storage position to prevent damage of the swinging um, cylinders. Do not use the rotate the function to clear of the cutter head of the debris. The best technique is to clear by hand. After shutting down the cutter head, um, storing the arms of the cradle, but turning off the battery, disconnecting the switch of the off position. Boom swinging cylinder speed of the factory set with adjustments without prior approval. The manufacturer will avoid a warranty. Minimal good rounds clearance of 12 inches, but uh, should be maintained safely. Do not dump and dump, and dump or bump the cutter heads on the ground to stop their rotation. And disengage the pump, driving you with the clutch. If provided before starting the engine in winter and cool, colder weather, after the engine is warmed up, reduce the engine speed to the idle before the engaging the uh, in clutch. Reduce the engine speed slowly to low idle before energizing, de-energizing the cutter. Cutter heads. Be alert at all times. Anticipate downward track conditions and be ready to take corrective action. Or general operation, make sure make certain that all the startup procedures have been followed before beginning work operation. Make certain that all the lockups have been removed and stored as required. Make certain that the hydraulic oil has been warmed and see the startup earlier in this section. For engine the part engage the parking brake to press the cutter head to the interlock button. For six, reduce the engine to the idle speed. Seven, check the measure texture. Make sure that it's safe to operate with the cutter head. Know that understanding all safety warning and constant dangers before starting the cutter head motors. Pull the motor start control buttons of the cutter head motors for two on each side of the upper control console. If working speed is less than twelve miles an hour, engage optional suspension lockout set the booms in position and travel down track do not swing the booms. 11. Angle cut headed with the forward angle of the attack door to the front of the machine. Do not cut in reverse. Do not attempt to cut the trees or shrubs more than 4 inches in diameter. Maintain ground clearance of 12 inches. Use a quick stop mode with the braking only 2 and 3rd gear when traveling with speed less than 5 miles an hour. 
No, use a winch to raise the boom over the short obstacles. Taller obstacles reverse the movement. Machine swing boom to create the obstruction in the vent of the boom comes in contact with the stationary object of the boom and the breakaway cylinders will require the resetting of using the valve on the six station valve blanks. Um, emergency procedure. If the hydraulic fails, hose fails to shut down the machine immediately, determine the cause of the failure cor correct condition. An indication that on the gauge are not known with the normal range. Shut down the engine repair before the operation. Emergency cylinders actuation requires the electrical emergency pump. See the below. Emergency pump optional. Depressing the emergency pump switch in the control console will then operate the required valve handle to move the attachment as required. Operate the pump in the intervals for the maximum of 15 seconds at a time. The pump is designed for the emergency use only. It should not be used for the extended period of time. Emergency stopping. The emergency shutdown should be used only when the engine does not respond to the normal stopping engine procedures or an event of the emergency where time is critical to shut down the engine and stop all the machine functions. Push the emergency stop button located on the, any of the control boxes. Do not use this method as a shortcut to turning off the engine. After operation, machine shutdown. Lock, locate the machine on level track in all possible. Make certain that the two cutter head booms are properly settled in the storage and cradles. Applying the parking brake. Reduce the engine speed to idle speed, allowing the idle to, for one minute turbocharged engine should be allowed to idle for five minutes. Install the lockups for the cutter beam, cutter head booms. Turn ignition key to counterclockwise to turn off the position. Turn the battery disconnect switch to the off position. Parking and locating the machine. Park and locate the machine on level track area with the possible where it will not be exposed to the excessive dirt. If the machine is towed, the disconnect low towing vehicle to the brakes and move of the towing vehicle will clear the park machine. Rotating the machine. The machine on the turbotable, which allows the machine to be lifted off the tracks, rotated. The only function of the turntable is to rotate the machine, lift and rotate the machine. Proceed with the following steps. The center turntable base, base is across the two solid level ties. Unlock the turntable valve with the handling, um, handling located on the back of the cab with the right hand step. The lowly lift the handle lower turntable until it comes in contact with the ties. Two, um, three, move the turntable valve, the handle lever upward and hold the end to the machine is fully raised off the track, raise the lever, uh, use the manpower to rotate the machine, the wheel should be directly above the track, after rotating the machine wheel flanges are properly aligned with the rails, slowly move the turntable valve, the handle lever, the downward turntable cylinder will retract the machine will lower onto the track, install the lockup chains and the hooks where they're provided, so then install the rotate lock pin, note, t note the two turntable mounting positions are provided so that the machine can be balanced depending on the attachments installed. Towing. Maximum towing speed is 35 miles an hour. Reduce speed according to the dictated with the weather and track conditions. Remember the machine weight may approach the weight of the towing vehicle. May, may increase the stopping distance accordingly. It is strong recommended that the drive shaft removed before the towing of the machine. If there's no pot, if it is not possible, limit the towing may, maximum to 10 miles. In an emergency situation when the removal of the drive shaft is not possible, provided that the distance is towed less than 10 miles, it was possible to simply neutralize with the gearbox before towing. Note that the transmission is neutral. The gearbox bearings received no lubrication, and it's very possible that damage may occur with the transmission. This only could, this should only be used in an emergency situation, not as a method to avoid disconnecting the drive shaft from the towing for towing. All right, maintenance and service uh, service requesting assistance. If you have any questions regarding the maintenance and service of the machine, please call the local Nordico representative, Nordico Service Manager, 414-769-4603, Wisconsin, 1-800-445-9258, U.S. and Canada. Lubricating and maintenance. The following are suggested in the notes and guidelines for the performing the maintenance of the machine. Always make sure that the engine has been turned off the battery disconnect if that has been turned off the position before performing maintenance on the machine. Never clean the dust, repair, or lubricate machine while the running unless the specifically required provided all necessary precautions that has been taken. When performance maintenance on the brakes and exercise the caution with the spring brake with the beads and disassemble the following the brake manufacturer instruction on the outside of this canister before attempting to disassemble the brake housing the spring of the brake of the chamber under the tremendous compression. For you for the caution of the drain hot fluids from the machine spring of flash hot fluids can cause severe burns. Never open the engine radiator cap while engine and coolant is hot. Never attempt to work under the machine while the brake with the turntable unless special support locks provided by the Nordico are, are, are utilized. Always ensure lubricating oil fluids fluids and filters are clean with the maintained outline section and this important lubrication is performed at a time intervals uh, stated in an else machine the damage occurred or could occur always ensure the engine radiator oil cooler and kept free with the debris also ensure the cooling fins are in good shape and not bent over always ensure the pump suction lines and ball valves are open but not blocked for the closed and collapse do not position the boom more than two feet above the storage, storage of the cradle when performing the maintenance of the boom. This will prevent the damage to the swinging cylinders. Do not use the head rotate function to clear the cutter head of the debris. Mess technique for the cutting, cutting, cleaning, cutting heads is by hand. After shutting down the machine, turn the battery disconnect to the off position. Crack the hose of the uh, hose of the at the cutter promoters. The boom swing um, cylinder speeds factory set adjustment without prior approval. The Nordico will avoid warranty. 
Thirteen cutter blades that are installed too loosely may um, become fractured and will cause the noticeable vibration during the working operation. Torque requirements specified with the car co manual located behind the other tab of this manual. Before this starting the machine, inspect the obvious defects, correct any problems discovered. Fifteen, inspect the brake shoe of the ice and remove any of the present before operating with the machine. If the ice is allowed to build up on the brake shoe, the brake efficiency is greatly reduced. Do not stand under the cutter heads or under to perform the maintenance. Replace glass in the caps if nicks and damages occur on the outside. Major OEM maintenance specs. Brake period, 50 hours. Oil change schedule, at first 50 hours or every six months thereafter. Lubrication, API GL5. Capacity, two quarts. Lubrication grade, weather dependent. From the below negative 5, um, negative 10 Fahrenheit, 75 weight. Negative 10 to 100 degrees Fahrenheit, 80 to weight, 90. Above 100 degrees, 85 weight to 140. Um, fuel pan, fuel pump drive, break-in period, 50, 50 hours, and oil change schedule, 50 hours or every first six months first. Lubricating, APL, GL5, capacity 2 quarts, below 10 uh, degrees Fahrenheit, 75 to weight, negative 10 to 100 degrees, 80 weight, and 90 weight, above 100 degrees, 85 to 140 degrees weight. All right, bloom, bloom, um, bloom, MFG, boom, winch. Breaking period, breaking period, 100 hours. First 100 hours every six months a year after oil change. Lubrication, bloom, ultra lube number 601. See notes. Capacity, three pints. No, in an emergency situation where the number 601 is immediately available, the SAE grade 80, weight 90, support, superior um, multiple use gear oil meeting the API GL5. Use only other, any other oil will shorten the life of the gears. Do not mix the number 601 or the 80 weight. 90 with more than 50% of any of the kind of oil. The John Deere engine break in break in period 50 hours oil change period spirit change schedule 50 hours every six months after lubrication type API GL5 capacity two cores below 70 negative degrees 10 degrees Fahrenheit 75 weight negative 10 to 100 degrees Fahrenheit 80 to weight 90 above 100 degrees Fahrenheit 85 weight 140. Alright, this shows the, uh, we're just going to do it with the diagram, um, this shows the uh, table, work at loop, loop points, no, the right, right hand workshop, the major, po major points um, under machine. All right, detailed daily instruction. The T1 perform checklist on the cutter head saw blade, uh, and saw blade heads. Inspect the disc and the missing teeth. Um, Missing teeth, chip, chipped, um, chipped teeth. Or check with all the hardware, tooth, the security devices are properly in place. Inspect the dish shaft connection. There should be no play with the hand force with the fly with the flywheel through play. Indicate if the cutter shaft not, is not properly torqued or on the cartridge being uh, bearings are worn. Ensure the cutter key and the cutter shaft is properly installed. Grease cut ahead but until the grease can be seen. Existing cut between the cutter head frame and the flywheel. For more detailed instruction on the maintenance of the saw blade, refer to the quad code manual behind this other tab at the back of this manual. Make certain that the heavy duty gloves are worn at all times when performing the maintenance near the saw blade heads. T2, brake adjustment. The brake lever adjustment is a screw you adjust the clearance between the brake shoe and the wheel. If the brake shoe is wearing unevenly, the brake pad adjustment screw, adjusting screw. Um, the brake lever adjuster adjustment and lever adjustment. The clearance between the brake shoe and the wheel should be maintained three quarter inch and one inch. The brake pad adjustment. Um, T3, transmission level. Um, the type of the surface is operating with the conditions determined the main the interval. However, it is recommended for the oil level to be checked weekly at the same time the checking of the oil leaks before lubricating the system of the heart of the oil unit. It is especially important that the oil be kept clean. Stop the engine before checking and adding oil to clean around the oil fill plug. Through recommended for lubricating oil change for the after the first time, five, 50, hour, 50 hours of service. Therefore, under normal operation conditions, it is recommended that the oil may be changed every six months for the operation. The oil of the unit should be changed whenever the oil level shows trace of the dirt. Effects of high temperature evidence for the discoloration, strong odor. The six drain, drain oil will be unit with still um, warm examining the contaminating the war warm particles seven clean all magnetic drain plugs before replacing a always clean and oil clean containers do not overfill this will result in overheating possibility malfunction of the unit 10 fill the mil m mil l 210 5c or api gl5 transmission should hold approximately two quarts 11 maximum operating oil temperature is 180 degrees fahrenheit um, lubricating all transmission controls with a good grade of lithium base grease All right, T4 pump drive. Um, this shows the transmission fluid check level right here. Um, T4 pump drive. The type of the strip of the operating condition determines the strip of the interval. However, the recommended the oil level be 
you check the weekly and the same time check for the oil levels because lubrication system is the heart of the unit it's especially important that the oil be kept clean stop the engine before checking adding the oil clean around the oil before checking the oil adding oil recommended with the lubricating of the chain for the first 500 hours of the service therefore and under normal operation condition recommended that the oil be changed after six months of operation and the oil the unit should be changed whenever the oil level shows discoloration strong over five the drain oil while the unit is still warm examine the contamination metal particle the medical dra magnetic drain plug is located at the bottom of the top tip of the button pump of the drain drive the clean all magnetic drain plugs before replacing do not overfill the the rule was result in overheating possible malfunction of the unit all right the pump drive fill here and check level um T5, wire rope inspection replacement. Rope inspection. Inspection rope. Inspect rope daily. Section for the rope is repeatedly replaced from the under the truss and the initial load of each of the lifts is supplied with the touch of those that the section cannot with a sheath. At each end of the rope, the toe, or you for the inspect the fitting of the attachment of the rope and the condition of the rope when it enters the attachment. The general condition of the drum it should be inspected carefully. If there's damage to the drum, there's damage to the rope as well. Inspector of the wire rope. Check with the abrasion, tight T, corrosion of the wear. Corrosion usually occurs when the inside of the out there is the hardest of all to find, while the rope is shown the evidence of the bird cage and kinking or fraying any of the other damage must be removed from the service show the wire rope the wire rope cable and the end um, pulleys um T6, inspection of sheaths and sheath bearings. Rope sheaths should be periodically inspected the roughness of the worn spot. The worn sheaths that may be damaged the rope, which result in the rope breakage of the bad spooling. Bad spooling. Proper fitting of the sheath that should be support the rope over to 130 to 150 grabs of the rope is circumference. All sheaths should be checked for the tracks, grooving damage of the tube blocking, the undue loosening of the breaking, brushing. Brushing should note that the sleeves, um, sheaths groove surface should be smooth and slightly larger than the wire rope being used. Proper maintenance of the equipment in which for the rope operate and has an op important bearing on the rope life, the warming groove, and power port line with the sheath the warm parts resulting shock loads and excessive vibration will have the deterioration effect. Sheath bearings. Check the bearings of lubrication sign with the move, easy rotation worn bearings that cause the vibration in the rope with increasing the wire fatigue rate, ray, pair the bearings on the replaced sheath. All right, check the planes for the wear, check the sheep for the groves of the wear, check the bearings of the woob location, and ease the rotation properly, branch rope, and the sheep groove, sheep groove too small, um, sheep groove is undercut, new gro rope will damage beyond the repair, um, sheep can be corrugated with ropes, print, print, print this sheaves that will damage the rope. All right, T7, the replacement disc dis descent cartridge every year, at least, unless water build-up tanks. The descent cartridge replacement drain the air system. Use the strap wrench for the term the descent cartridge on the clockwise remove and discard. Remove the discard overing from the adapter plate inside. Note that if the accessible oil is in check valve port, it's compressed may require the surface. And clean the top surface of the adapter plate with the thread stud. Use greasing supply to apply light coating with the O-ring. Install the O-ring adapter. Apply the generous coat of the grease and the new descent cartridge gas gets surface to the thread. New cartridge on the adapter stop. Turning clockwise when gasket and contacts adapter plate and tighten cartridge one half turn. Do not over tighten this must come in. Surface is the item of the turbo 2000 for other items unloaded valve bleed the valve etc. Either refer to the component data section tab other than turbo the, the 2000 service manual. Are your turbo 2000 manual? Um, I right, show the descent cartridge, the check valve, the refrigeration valve, the valve nut, check valve nut, the refrigeration valve, the body gasket, the safety valve, wire harness, the um, heaters. Bottom cap assembly, the whole whole soundly purge kit, valve kit, steel retainer, turbo valve, differential jet check valve, and the body gasket. Two eight. Um, checking the winch of the oil level. Due to the way the winch is mounted on the machine, verify ver verify the oil level will will be impossible. Unless the leakage is visible, and charge out oil. Charge change out the oil first 100 hours of operation. Every 500 hours thereafter, do not overfill. Fill here and drain oil. All right. T9, cleaning the oil cooler. Um, brush debris from the outside of the oil cooler from with a soft brush. A soft brush. Inspect the flat fins of the damage obstruction from the every 200 hours. Blow out the debris from the cooler fins with the lower pressure compressed air as required. Blow out this side. Um, brush this side. T10, loop, uh, loop drive shafts. Uh, shows the loop, the drive shafts. T11, T11, check the engine oil. Check the oil level to, um, daily with the engine stop. The necessary add sufficient oil to raise the level of the proper demand on the dipstick. All diesel engines designed to use some of the oil, some periodic addition, uh, addition of the oil is normal. Um, the oil level is constantly above the normal. Excessive lube oil has not been added to the crankcase. Contact the engine marker. The authorized surface outlisted in the engine manual. Fuel can coolant dilution of the lube oil can result in serious 
engine damage. Never operate the engine well with the oil level below the low mark or above the high mark on the low oil dipstick. Wait at least 15 minutes after shutting off the engine to check the oil. This allows the time the oil drain in the hand. Do not add ma make up the oil until the oil level is below and add mark of the dipstick. John Deere engine break in oil TY22041 should be used to make up the engine any oil consumed during the break in period. Should the left side oil filler cap, the right side oil filler cap, the locker arm filler cap, and the cross hatch in the dipstick. All right, check um, hydraulic oil level quality, so light ins site inspector uh, inspection only. Inspect the oil level daily basis every 10 hours of operation reading of the site gauge located on the side of the reservoir. All fuel level of the oil should be at the top of the site glass. The hydraulic system, the, the SA20 ISO 46 oil, before filling the system with the hydraulic oil, be sure the fluid is specified that it is clean. Do not use the cloth strain if the fluid has been stored with the contaminated containers. Care should be taken to keep the hydraulic oil free of the dust and water sealing compounds, other foreign material. While you think site glass, the very fire the oil quality, the oil becomes darker and milky colored. It should be changed immediately. No, always add hydraulic oil to the reservoir through a filter. Never overflow the filter or overfill the reservoir. Our T13 inspection rail sweep um, sweeps elements. Inspect the rail sweep elements daily basis. Um, rail sweep elements clamps should be taken um, be vertical position in order to make contact with the rail. They cannot be tightened to the angle that is shown and shown as in the top photo. They cannot be the rail desired. In the worn breaking or otherwise deformed, they should not be used. Loosen clamps turn turn so the wear is against the rail and lower until the element comes into contact with the rail. All right, T14, check suction trainer element. Located on the side of the reservoir, remove the inspect the filter after the first 40 hours of operation every year after they're cleaning, after required as access the filter. Turn off the engine, make certain the suction valve is closed and off counterclockwise. Remove the pad block one for the pull out of the plug attached to the cable. Use an element to turn the screw with the inside of the plug house and closing to open the counterclockwise to the close. Remove the six cap screws, lift off the front cover, the remove the reverse the process, reattach the cover. No, if any of the remote reason for the removal suction line and the filter is necessary, you must seal the hydraulic tank to prevent the external contamination. T15, replacing the charge pump pressure filter element. Replace each time the travel filter element is replaced if there is lost performance and control of the track travel pump the maximum of 600 hours between changeouts. T16, inspection hose line fittings and leaks. Look, look for loose and disconnected hose oil spots between the machine is good indication of loose of the oil hose and hydraulic compartment. To maintain certain shutoff valve suction strainers open open the valve to open correct what appears to be the malfunction. Three, inspect all the vital hose connections, especially main pump, the main pump hose connection on the manifold. Look over the covered war damage and indication of the twisted, worn, crimped, the battle, brittle, cracked, or leaking hose. The hoses without or covered with worn through the otherwise damage should be considered until their further service. T17, inspection of electrical connection and harness of the tightness. Daily inspection of the harness connected with the controls operated with the control box. The foot switch with the logical box required harness that may not have proper connection and would cause problems in starting and stopping the machine. In addition with the harness connection, the foot switch should be inspected on a regular basis to guard against the wear, deterioration, etc. And not notice the excessive wear of the brake time replacing the switch. T18, check of the fan and alternator generator belts. Check the belts and tighten the fan drive and drive with the battery charging alternator. Other than the accessory drive belts, belts should be neither too tight nor too loose. Belts that are too tight impose the excessive loads on the crank shaft of the fan and the alternator bearing shortening the both of the belt and bearing life. Excessive over tightened belts can result in the crank shaft break if the loose belt will slip many of the causing damage to the accessory components. Replace all the belts and set one set which ones replace all the belts in a set which one is one is worn. Single belts are similar size should not be used as a substitute of the match belt size. Um, premature belt wear can result because of the battle belt length variation. Or T19, to test hydraulic oil cleanliness. Pro proper fluid cleaning conditions essential for the log of the productive life of the hydraulic component system throughout the precautions should always be observed to ensure the hydraulic system is clean. Filter each change to the oil to prevent introduction of contamination into the system. Two, maintain the proper oil level with regular surface of the filters and breathers and reservoirs. Three, take precautions to prevent moisture of the contamination. Change the fluid whenever the contamination occurs because of the every small amount of the water can affect the system performance as well as induce corrosion and oil breakdown. T20, checking the air cleaner engine cab. Um, the engine indicator is shown um, right there. Do not allow the air inlet restriction to exceed 20 inches of the water. Um, under the, any operation condition, inspect the entire of the air system for the leak daily. Look for the torn air inlet piping the boots loose of the damaged, cl damaged clamps. Have worn damaged parts repaired, replaced as required, retighten any loose connections. T21 drain water separator fuel water trap on the engine if equipped. If the engine is equipped with a fuel water separator to drain off any of the water that has accumulated water in the fuel can seriously affect the engine performance and may cause the water damage. 
G23, check out the battery condition, clean terminal. The battery required with the periodic service, you can check out the electrical light on the weekly 40 hour basis. The distilled water with the necessary do not overfill the overfilling of the makeup of the core battery performance and earlier failure. Danger, shut off the engine when checking the battery electrical light. Do not check the filter battery in presence of open flame sparks when smoking. Battery fumes are flammable in order, explosive, and if ignited, will result in severely bodily injury or death. Main certain that this battery is disconnect switches in the opposition. Inspect the terminal's cam clamp with the regular with a clean barrel and terminal's capital clamps with corrosion visible there are explosive growth excessively corroded the damaged parts for the place to get the best performance of the cloud for the battery. Make certain that the terminal side of the battery terminal and cable clamps that is clap clean. The suggestion that the coat and tearing the coats them in the grease and other suitable product reduce corrosion. When battery replacement becomes necessary, recommend that the replacement of the battery means extended but the original battery specification amps the cranking power the accessory refer to the specification page earlier in this manual. If the machine is to be uh, out of service for more than 30 days, batteries should be removed and stored in a cool, dry place. Um, Vigor T23 running pressure check for the main pump, the propulsion, blow out the vents or monthly basis, vents on the monthly basis, clean the screen filter on the weekly basis, more often if used continuously. Um, troubleshooting. Um, troubleshooting is a matter. Troubleshooting is a matter for the quick. Uh, Troubleshooting is a matter of the quickly, logically isolating cause of the problem and taking the corrective action operating experience. Throughout understanding the information of this manual, accurate maintenance of the operation record is the best troubleshooting that an operator can have. The machine is a group of the rather simple system. If you understand the basic working of the system and individually how they relate to each other, the troubleshooting becomes a relatively simple task. Troubleshooting guide has broken down into four sections the engine, hydraulics, electrical, mechanical, pneumatic. It's intended to give the basic troubleshooting um, guidelines. Local condition operating methods may result in problems caused by remedy if not covered in this guide. To the use of the guide of the sufficient, most efficiently, Locate the problem and match the one being experienced and being experienced in the step by step. The mod that correct the clause if listed on the correct method made to use foam with the problem solved. Warning always turn off the machine when performing the maintenance and making adjustment whenever the unintended movement of the machine could occur, unless, under, unless directed otherwise, failure to comply with the result in personal injury or damage to the machine. For convenience, we enjoy, we've included copies of the electrical hydraulic functioning schematics as well as the cable diagram, logical board layouts, and drawings. These are included in the troubleshooting section. When the temperature of the diesel fuel is elevated, um, elevated to a curve, but the fuel circulated through the operating engine that may pose the following hazards, which should be guarded against. Refer to the engine manual for the details. Caution: Before starting the new overhauled, en overhauled engine that has been stored to consult the engine manufacturer manual, but the initial start of the instruction failure to follow the instruction could result in the serious engine damage. Warning: Get Exhaust emissions can be used the engine or use of the engine oil machine may cause cancer, birth defects, or other reproductive harms. And inhaled. Caution: Never shut off the battery. Disconnect the switch from the engine running. This could cause the damage to the voltage regulator or alternator and electrical system. The following precautions should be taken to minimize the possibility of injuries and heated diesel fuel. Whenever possible, recommend that the engine and fuel be given the opportunity to cool down with the ambient temperature before the performing the service of operation which could result in the slippage of the fuel from the engine of the machine fuel system. When it's not possible, protective clothing, field shield, face shield, insulated gloves, and apron should be worn to perform these operations. Keep the open fuel flame spark for the potential ignition sources away. Do not smoke during the vehicle refueling the service of fuel operation which could result in the escape of the liquid or vaporized diesel fuel engine machine fuel system and service operation to perform in a well-ventilated area is kept them free of the bystanders. Refer to the engine manufacturer operation manual for troubleshooting your engine. Alright, electrical troubleshooting inspection. Inspect the electrical um, system for clues of the malfunction. Check to see if the unit is operated without with, with, without further damage to the insulation and to the system electric. Always check the items that they before turning on the switch and running the machine. Look at the bare wires that they could be caught with the ground or short short wires can be damaged with the charging circuit. Lose, look, lose, look for loose broken wires. Inspect all connections, especially battery connection points, clean hardness connectors, and grounding connections that they can offer. Often correct the board appears with the malfunction. Check the battery electrical light level for continued loss of the electrolyte fluid. Indicate the overcharging of the crack battery case. Inspection overheated parts of the unit that has been stopped through a while. The wall will often smell like burned insulation. Put your hand on the alternator. Heat the heat in this part while the machine has not been operated for some time is a sure clue charging the circuit charging the circuit problem. Many electrical failures cannot be detected even if the machine is started. If the visual inspection does not indicate the mail possible manufacturer, refer to the electrical system troubleshooting guide as this follows. All right. The electrical system of the machine can be found in the back of the troubleshooting section behind the electrical tab in this manual. The warning: Disconnect the battery for servicing the machine. Failure to do so could result in personal injury, accidental engine startup. Caution: Never shut off the battery. Disconnect switch the, while the engine running. This could cause the damage of the voltage regulator and, and alternator and electrical system. 
or a troubleshooting problem. Battery uses some too much water, crack battery, frozen battery, keep the battery fully charged in cold weather, replace the battery, low water level, they did. distilled water, dishwater, d dirty water, um, dirty wet battery top, causing discharge clean, wipe and dry battery top, curl loose battery um, cables, clean and tighten battery cables, broken battery post, wiggle battery post by hand, if post wiggles in turns, replace um, battery. Wrong size replacement, replace batteries with the type that's specified under the machine's um, specification. Starting motor on the turn, the battery disconnect switch turned off, the turn the switch on the opposition, defective ignition, Switch repair or replace. Direct the control now. Set neutral. Lift the control handle to the un to up to the unlock the move to neutral position. Um, bad solenoid. Replace solenoid. Implement implement pump switch on. Turn the switch off position. Corrode battery terminals. Inspect and clear necessary. Air horn does not sound. The air pressure low. The horn circuit breaker. The trip. The reset the circuit breaker. Horn defective. Select the horn and repair. Replace horn. Re relay the relay defective. Check the replay horn switch defective. Check the switch and repair. Replace. Backup alarm and not sound connection with the alarm loose tight and connection with white and wire harness defective check the harness repair and service alarm circuit breaker trip reset the circuit breaker alarm defective check the alarm and repair the replace the alarm and reply, relay defective check the relay and check um, alarm switch defective check the switch and repa repair and replace. Travel lights do not work. Warning harness is defective. Check the harness from repair or replace. Connect the loose uh, light loose to the connection. Circuit breaker to trip to reset the circuit breaker to switch defective. Check the switch and replace the repair or replace. Connect the switching and loose tight and connection light defective to replace lightning. Replace light and connection and the circuit breaker panel loose uh, loose. And check to tighten the connection. Working lights do not work. The wiring harness is defective. Check the harness from repair or replace. Connect the light loose to tighten the connection and circuit breaker. The trip to reset the circuit breaker. Switch defective. Check the switch from repair and replace. Connect the switch loose to tighten the connection. Light defective. Replace the light. Um, the correct connection of the circuit breaker and panel to tighten the connection. Cooling fan not loose the connection at the back of the fan. Tighten the connection. Loose um, the cooling fan not working. Loose the connection of the circuit breaker. Panel to tighten the connection. Loose the connection. Loose connection of the relay. Tighten the connection. Brake lights do not work. Um, warning harness defective. Check the harness repair or replace. Connecting all light loose to tighten the connection. Circuit breaker to trip. Reset circuit breaker. Switch defective. Um, clean switch repair. Replace connection. The switch loose to tighten the connection. Light defective. Replace light connection. All circuit breaker panels and loose to tighten the connection. Mechanical trou troubleshooting inspection. Inspect the mechanical system for clues of the malfunction. Check to see if they can be operated without further in damage. Warning. All the, always turn off the machine with the perform and maintenance making an adjustment whenever the unintended machine mo movement of the machine could occur unless the directed otherwise failure to comply could result in personal injury damage to the machine. Our machine will not prop propel. Ma main pump is not delivering pressure. See hydraulic trouble. Shoot with the brake not releasing. See next problem. Propulsion release setting low. low increase the relief setting. De defective motor and broken drive shaft. Repair or replace motor shaft. Brakes will not release. Air pressure is too low. Adjusting the regulating setting. Uh, regulator setting. Uh, brake less. Brake will not release. Brake cylinder bypassing air. Inspect replace cylinder. Brake will not uh, play. Brake break, break, broken brake spring. Inspect the spring and replace necessary brake and show shoes worn. Inspect and shoes replace necessary boom will not lift or lower. Lock up engage disengage lock obstruction the pinch points. Remove the obstruction pressure pump. Um, pressure pressure problem at the lifting cylinder. Adjust the main relief and relay, uh, replace cylinder carrier bushing not a lubricated grease bushing. Stuck control valve spool. Inspect and repair winch and winch motor defective. Inspect and replace them. Repair and replace. Boom wheels not spring. Flow control, flow, flow, flow control valves improperly adjust, inspect and adjust the necessary piston and bypassing repair and cylinder. Stuck control valve spool inspection and repair. Broken bring, breakaway operates too easily. Relieve the valve setting too slow, too, too low. Stuck open inspect and replace the necessary cut head. Cutter head won't re maintain RPMs engine. Not right, full run it, Not at full RPM. Adjust the throttle system pressure problem. Adjust system pressure. Defective cutter head motor. Repair and replace motor. Excessive vibration, um, uneven distributed blades missing, repair of blade, um, blades, lab, lack of lubricating blade shaft housing, fill the grease for the grease exists inside on the cutter head of the housing blade side, blade, 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 blade cartridge shafting, bearing failure, replace the bearing, defective cutter head motor, replace or replace motor, cracked or damaged blade, replace the blade. Cutter heads will not rotate. Motor defective. The inspect the repair and replace the necessary relatively fault, relative relief valve faulty. Inspect the repair and replace necessary pump defective. Inspect the repair and replace as necessary. Excessive noise and transmission power brake is parking brake is applied. Release brake oil level is too low. Add oil foreign object slide jamming shifter uh, arm removed. Da damage shifter to fork spring replaced. Transmission mounting loop bolts loose tighten.
Axle vibration during speed chain, the torque limit, link pins and bearings are damaged, repair and replace. Axle housing running hot, parking brake left on, the short and dish engaged over the oil level low, the level plug, pinion, pinion bearing damaged, repair and replace. Sensor vibration during high speed, journal bearings are dry, replaced. Suspension wearing plates are worn, replaced. Universal joints are worn, replaced. Uneven wheel diameter resurfaced, replaced. Low air pressure, 90 to 120 psi is normal. Faulty air pressure of the governor, adjusting governor setting of the replacement necessary. The faulty air compressor, refer to the engine manual. Leaking hose or leaking dive frame in the air brake chamber. They, they check the air early for the foot level in the air position, applied position. Air pressure correct, but the, but the brakes will not apply. Foot valve not working, repair and replace. Quick and release the valve malfunctioning, repair and replace. Parking and emergency brake won't release. Low air pressure, adjusting the air compressor governor. Faulty parking emergency brake control, inspecting, repair and replace is necessary. And that concludes the book the book of the uh, the Nordico Equipment Services model BC60 RBUG Trailbrazer on track brush cutter operation and maintenance manual.